Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy, King Sir 7 here back with another video before we get into this video. I just want to remind you all to all the kings and queens, and I hope you all are having a very, very blessed day. And I'm back with another Cincinnati Bengals franchise episode. I do believe this is episode number four, and we're going to be taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. We are currently 2-0, and and the Steelers are 1-1. One one. They somehow have a lower overall than us. Considering they had a pretty good, at least regular season last year, I thought their team would be much higher rated than that. But before we actually do get into the game, I do want to say thank you for all the continued support, the likes, comments, the new subs, welcome, and all the views. It's been greatly, greatly appreciated. But we are on top of the division. And I'm, gonna, I'm trying to think off the top of my head if there was anything that stood out to me in the comment section that you guys told me to do. There was one thing that I really appreciate, which was uh, apparently like when I'm when I'm dropping back, I'm like throwing off Joe Burrow's back foot. So that's why a lot of those throws are coming off as inaccurate. Same with my Daniel Jones uh, in the Giants franchise. But I think we covered everything. I did get suggestions to trade for certain players, such as Jakeem Grant. Uh, there was also a comment to trade for Marlon Humphrey, I do want to say. It was Marlon Humphrey I was suggested to trade for. But I think for now we're going to stay put and we're just going to work with what we have for now. I also did go in and make Tyler Boyd the permanent slot wide receiver to keep it as realistic as possible. And let's just hope we continue on this, this hot streak. But we are going to be in Pittsburgh this game. Comment down below what you think the score prediction is going to be i'm going to go with uh 27 20. we keep the winning streak alive we move to three and oh all right we're going to start the football game on the defensive side hopefully we get stops early and often they're going to hand this off to rookie and g harris and g harris he goes really nowhere, picks up one yard. This defense, I think, has been with the most... I, I don't really know what's been more impressive, the defense or the offense. I think both sides of the football have been really good so far this season. But Big Ben, it looks like he's going to pass. he got one man in the backfield, three split out wide. Logan Wilson, all right, we had that cover. And we're going to come with a big hit with Pratt on. Who's 85? Eric Ebron. Still got Eric Ebron, brought him back for another year. But it's going to be third and five now. I'm so used to having to defend four places. I've been playing a lot of ultimate team this year. And everybody goes for it on fourth. Nobody punts and nobody kicks field goals. Oh, we got that all covered. Ricardo Allen goes and tries making the play, but he can't make the play. Eric Ebron, his size is just too much for Ricardo Allen to deal with there in that situation. I might have to switch Ricardo Allen to sub linebacker and put Von Bell back there in the safety. You guys comment that down below. Because right now I have Von Bell as our sub linebacker. So if you want me to switch them, let me know, Bengals fans, what you think will be better. So I think Von Bell's making that play right there on Eric Ebron. I can't lie. But second and nine. Can we get a stop? Eric Ebron goes out wide. Over the middle of the field's wide open. That's a great run route by Deontay Johnson. Or is that Juju? That's going to be Juju Smith-Schuster. Picks up the first down. Third and three for the Steelers at our 27-yard line. He makes it. Oh, that's going to be complete. And that is going to be a touchdown. Chuba Awuzie gets burnt by Deontay Johnson. Things you hate to see going down so early by a touchdown score. Second and ten for Joe Burrow. Who we got open? We got nobody really open. We're going to fit that in there. It's an inaccurate throw. I don't think I was. I was kind of moving up in the pocket there, so... I think that was just an inaccurate throw from Joe Burrow. I don't think I was thrown off my back foot uh, right there. But third and ten now. Do we get open? Are right, we going to have Ty Joe Mixon over the middle of the field? Joe Mixon picks up close to the first time. We're going to no huddle. We're going to go no huddle right here. I'm going to call that same exact play. Uh, drag under Jamar Chase. And we're going to have Joe Mixon again. Joe Mixon safe catches it. And the fourth down conversion. It works. That was a very, very risky play call right there for me. But you know what? Sometimes you got to risk it for the biscuit. And that time, it paid off. And we're going we're gonna to slow things down. We're going to hand this off to Joe Mixon. Pick up a couple decent yards. And that's one thing I think we're going to struggle in. I don't think we're going to be able to run the football as effectively as we have in weeks past. Because I think this Pittsburgh uh, Steelers defense is just not going to allow it to happen. But we're going to go back to the run. I think we got to establish it. All right, no, we don't go to the run. Arden Tate on the run. Big body it, and it gets thrown out of his hands by Edmonds. That brings up a third and nine. Third and nine now for Joe Burrow and company. Who are we going to have open? 
We're going to have Tyler Boyd. Tyler Boyd, get that one block chase. Chase just runs right by the defender. Doesn't get the block at all. But we do get the first down. We're moving into Pittsburgh Steelers territory. Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase make a play. He drops the football on third and 13. That was a good throw by Joe Burrow. But this, uh, this, um... Uh, the ability by the Steelers when you click right trigger to pull up the play art It shows you a different play every time Trey Waynes can't get there in time But that's really throwing me off and now the Pittsburgh Steelers have full momentum on their side Riley Reef to get her it's an ab abdominal Terry will not it's just play out for the whole season honestly It's really really bad news for us, but we're gonna have to fight through this This is what momentum does home field advantage for the Steelers also so their momentum goes much quicker into G Harris he gets tripped up by Von Bell on that play, but picks up a big chunk of yards. Third and 10 for the Steelers now. Can we please get one stop? Oh, they're, they're testing us. They're testing us. Ricardo Allen breaks that play up. Very, very good job from him. And we're going to get the football back. But I'm telling you guys, this Pittsburgh Steelers thing, that second ability next to the, the guy with the hands on his head, where I just can't, it just switches up my plays. Or Oh, no, no, it was the play art. It was the last uh, ability they got. Which was messing up with my play art. Um, so now we should be good. Alright, no. We're not good because Joe Burrow is still confused. So it is that second ability that's messing this all up for me. But Joe Burrow, we're going to scramble. Oh, we're going to step up in the pocket. We're going to slide and we're going to pay him close to the first down. If not, the first down. And it is going to be second and one. Third and one now. Who do we got open? Joe Burrow. He's going to have to scramble for the first down. And we're going to slide and pick up the first down. Second and 11, and we throw an interception. I tried getting Jamar Chase open right there, but second and eight out our eight-yard line. Maybe we could hold them to a field goal. I don't know. This this momentum stuff is really just messing me up, but we do get the sack. Let's go. Is that as easy? It's going to be Pratt off the edge. Third and 14 with four, so the defense is looking like it's going to hold up for us. We're going to drop back in the zone, though, even though look, it's showing me, showing me blitz, but I'm dropping back in the zone nonetheless with Logan Wilson. Don't want to give up this passing touchdown. Get the get the pressure. The pressure doesn't even get there, but it's dropped by Deontay Johnson. And they're going to be forced to kick a field goal with 7-17 left on the clock in the second quarter. Is Chris Boswell, I think that's the kicker. Can he make can he give them a 10-0 lead? And that is going to be right down the middle. 10-0 score. Down 10 nothing early in the second quarter. We have to get our offense going. Look at this play art. It's beautiful, man. It is really, it's really enhancing my gameplay. We're gonna have Y open. It's gonna be Tyler Boyd. Tyler Boyd. Can he take this the distance off the slants? He's not gonna take it the distance. They got Edmonds back there to stop him and shove him out of bounds. Second and eight now at the Steelers 25 yard line. We're gonna have Jamar Chase wide open over the middle of the field. He gets blown up by Edmonds. Edmonds has been everywhere so far. Third and inches now. Oh, I'm running empty backfield. Do I go QB draw? I definitely shouldn't go QB draw. I'm going to go slants again. Auden Tate, get open. We fit it into Auden Tate. He goes with the secure catch and takes it to the 11 yard line. Hand off to Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon, Jamar Chase. Oh, I should have ran to the left of that block, not to the right. I, I tried crossing over on the block. But we're going to run slants on the six yard line. If it's not on the one yard line, then it is acceptable. Not trying to end up like the Seahawks. Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow, we're going to have wide back of the end zone. It's going to be Tyler Boyd. I think that's his first receiving touchdown on the season. And we inch closer to getting the lead back. But let's make this extra point real quick. And there we go. We're going to have ourselves a 10-7 ball game. Third and five for Big Ben and the Steelers at the third at their own 30-yard line. I'm going to be controlling usering Von Bell right here. They're going to hit Chase Claypool. He's going to pick up the first on Trubo Wuzier. Just couldn't get there in time. Second and four for the Steelers now after getting a short completion over to Chase Claypool. They're going to hand this off to Najee Harris. Najee Harris is going to get blown up and he only picks up about one yard right there. Another third down for the Steelers upcoming. Can we finally get the defense off the field on this play? I went with a little bit of zone. I'm going to go with a cover one hole here. I'm going to be using Jesse Bates. Make sure nothing gets over the top. We're going to man coverage basically across the board. They send Najee Harris out here. Uh, he's going to have a one-on-one -on -one against Von Bell. Hopefully Von Bell holds his own in this situation. It's going to be complete. Another short completion to Eric Ebron as he beats Pratt in coverage. First and 10 for the Steelers. Now they're looking in a very threatening position right now. 
I don't like what we're doing right now on defense, but Logan Wilson over the middle makes the tackle. The Steelers are going to burn their second timeout of the half, have one remaining. The only positive I could really look at is that we're going to be receiving the ball to start the second half. But besides that, we're just not looking too good on defense. Even though we've only given up 10 points, we've just shown... Back of the end zone, Von Bell, he makes the interception. I was mid-sentence, but Von Bell made the interception, but he got out of bounds. Couldn't get both feet inbounds, I should say. Now third and four. Can we finally get off the field? There's 50 seconds left and three timeouts we have. So if we get this football back and we're... Uh, is that going to be a first down? Is it? That's probably enough for a first down, isn't it? It's first and goal for the Steelers that are seven yard down. The quick throw out to Eric Ebron. Our linebackers just cannot drop back in coverage at all. We're going to have to just keep running zone, I guess. And we're going to go down 17-7 to here. Uh, the Steelers receivers, they just have way too much speed on them. Deontay Johnson, Juju, Claypool, Eric Ebron, Najee Harris out the backfield. It's a lot to deal with, to be honest, for this. You know, our defense isn't super highly rated. So it's a lot to deal with for them. But I still have confidence in us to, for sure, make this game competitive and hopefully mount the comeback. First play of the second half, we're going to find Jamar Chase on the crossing route. And there we go, Joe Burrow, 10 of 17, a buck 22, a touchdown and interception. The interception, I won't really say, I don't even really remember. I think I just threw a terrible ball, to be honest. It probably was what it was. But we're going to go play action again with Joe Burrow. We're going to scramble out to the right. Oh, we got Jamar. Safe catch us. Jamar gets both feet in bounds. Jamar is a super slow. You can put him inside, you can put him outside. It doesn't matter. The dude knows how to get open. Are oh, we going to run? We might have to run play action again, but this time we're actually going to run the football because we just ran back-to-back -back play actions and threw it. So obviously if we run it, it's going to be effective, and it is going to be effective with Joe Mason. We take it to the 16-yard line, seven rushes, 30 yards. We honestly haven't had a lot of plays um, so far on offense this game, I would say, but we're going to hand this ball off yet again to Joe Mason. I think against that weak defensive box, but wow, what a play by Devin Bush. Just threw my center completely off him. Second and six now. All right, they're, they're messing with me. They're messing with me, but I'm going to still run the football. It's a good block by Jamar Chase. All right, we set up a third and manageable. It was going to be third and three. Okay, let's back out of this. Texas vertical, I don't actually, I don't like this play at all. I don't like it. We're going to run slants. Joe Mixon coming out the back. I do like that. All right, I'm going to, right, I don't have enough time to switch him. Joe Mixon doesn't come out of the backfield. Joe Burrow's going to step up. Joe Burrow, he's going to scramble into the end zone and score a touchdown with his legs. Kind of a rarity for Joe Burrow, but honestly, he's got some very underrated speed to him. He runs pretty well for a quarterback, and the kick is going to be perfectly down the middle. Just like that, 17-14 ball game. We need the defense to step up on this drive. First and 10, they hit us with a play action, and Deontay Johnson yet again just so extremely open. With acres of room to run every time he catches the football, we're getting caught on that play action. We don't know if, if he's throwing it, if he's running it, because Najee Harris is a really, really big threat coming out of the backfield. But Logan Wilson, and you see right there, I thought they are going to play action again. Wow. That was a touchdown saving tackle from Chuba Wuzi. But just like that, two plays, and they're at our 42-yard line. Comes down to a third and five for the Steelers. Can we get off the field? I'm going to be using Von Bell here at the safety position. Make sure they don't score a touchdown. They go with another play action, and they find a man just so open. Deontay Johnson, again, I saw two players wide open on that play. And just the defense right now is broken. Offline gameplay, online gameplay, the, the zone coverages, they just don't work. They don't know how to go over to the zone that they're assigned. And this is going to be a handoff, and I'm there with the tackle. So at the eight-yard line, the Steelers have second and goal. We're going to run commit here on third and goal. Please, please hand it off. He's handing it off and let's go. The run commit works and we don't allow Najee Harris to get into the end zone. Fourth and goal for the Steelers. Oh, I just remembered you guys told me to sign Geno Atkins. I just remembered that. Uh, I just That just randomly popped into my mind. But all right, it's a 2014 ball game. I will have to go and sign Geno Atkins. Third and seven for the Bengals. We're going to have to pick up this first down if we want to stay competitive in this game. We have A. We have A. Joe Burrow with the dot to Auden Tate. And we pick up the first down. Joe Burrow scrambling out of the pocket. has been very, very good so far on this day. We get hit as we throw. And Tyler Boyd can't even go in there to make a play. It's going to be another interception for Joe Burrow. Mika Fitzpatrick there to make the play. 
Hey, we got hit as we threw. The offensive line has been, God, it's been atrocious so far today. Joe Burrow's been running for his life all day long, and uh, that's going to result in interceptions and turnovers. Third and six for the Steelers now, or third and four, excuse me. Big Ben, please, just throw an incompletion or something, bro. Can we get can we get pressure on this play? That would be really, really nice. We're rushing four. They go with the play action. Over the middle of the field, Von Bell. I was... Bro, there's no way. I just The change in direction was way too slow from Von Bell. Chase Claypool able to pick up the first down. Third and seven for the Steelers at their 38-yard line. Or our 38-yard line, excuse me. What are they doing here? They run in a man back. The Chase Claypool's in the backfield right now. And that's going to be a dot. And he got both feet inbounds. Deontay Johnson. Boys, this is bad. This is bad. I don't even, we can't stop. We, le we legitimately cannot stop the Steelers offense. I don't know what to, to call this. I could call man. I could call zone. I could rush three. I could rush four. We don't get pressure regardless. There's going to be a flag on the play. And oh, wide open is uh, Juju Smith-Schuster. Mike Hilton couldn't get them in coverage. Hopefully it's a flag on them. It is, it's looking like it's going to be a hold on the Steelers. Luckily enough for us. All right, let's go. So we should be getting all right, accept it. It was an illegal man downfield. Somehow, we'll take we'll take the lucky break when we get him. First and goal now for the Steelers after just tearing us up on 500 passing plays. They're gonna hit over the middle of the field. Eric Ebron's wide open, wide open. Von Bell just no sense of any coverage. We had two people that were supposed to be in a zone back there in coverage. Let's take a look at what they were doing. All right, where are they? At? This is Von Bell. Von Bell, okay, nice. So it's Von Bell and this guy. All right, nice. So Von Bell, you should be running this way, right? Because Jesse Bates is behind you, and there's they're locked up over there, so you should have the awareness to move into this space. You're looking at it. You're literally looking at it. Just stand still right in the middle, right? You're not going to pick this guy up. You're not going to shade it over here. All right, I guess not. The, the zone coverage is, is god-awful, bro, in this game. And it looks like, and I can run man. I can run man. I can run zone. I'm telling you, nothing is working this game against the Steelers. Big Ben and his receivers are just way too good. And they're gonna hit that man wide open, Eric Ebron, to get the two point conversion to make it a 14 point ball game. Look at this defense that the Steelers are running. What? It's five minutes left in the second half, and they're still able to. T.J. Watt is so good, bro. He is so so good. He's literally going up against five offensive linemen in double coverage and still making tackles like that. But we're going to have Auden Tate out of the tight end role. Gets it to the Steelers 39 yard line. Hey, the game is not over. And they're literally giving us all these yards, bro. They're running like a ultra prevent against us. We're going to have Joe Mixon out of the back with Joe Mixon. Try getting out of bounds. Stop the clock. Did he get out of bounds? I don't even know. He didn't get out of bounds. We're going to go no huddle. We're going to run slants. Now they're pushing up. But we should have Boyd open. The offensive line just lost every battle imaginable. We throw it up there because we have no time to comprehend anything because the offensive line is so bad. They've, they've been terrible this game, bro. Over the middle of the field, Chase Claypool is going to be gone for a touchdown most likely. And this is turning into a route. The Steelers, they've picked apart our defense and they destroyed our offensive line all game long. Chase Claypool takes that one to the house. It's going to be 35-14. With three minutes left in the fourth quarter. Joe Burrow, look at how much space he's going to have to run the football. But obviously he's a little slower than most. So he only takes it to the 50-yard line. But he's rushed four times for 50 yards. Really effective, honestly. But we're going to keep going. No huddle. We have to just get points up on the board. We're going to have Joe Mixon over the middle of the field. Just don't fumble it. Okay, he leans forward. I don't know how we can amount this comeback, but I guess a will stat pad a little bit, get our players, maybe morale up a little bit. Joe Burrow's gonna, he's gonna scramble. Auden Tate, Auden Tate! Ooh, that was, that's a tough throw for any quarterback of all time right there. The best quarterbacks ever. That's tough throw across your body, scrambling to the left. It's just tough, but we're gonna have Tyler Boyd going up and making the catch. Did he drop it in the end? He held on to the ball. Tyler Boyd has been one player that has been playing spectacularly. Six receptions, 121 yards on the day. Um, very, very, very happy with how he's come out. The one player I will say I'm a little disappointed in is T. Higgins. He's yeah, he hasn't really showed at all this game so far. A little disappointing, but nonetheless. Scrambling out to the right. Oh, we're going to have Auden Tate. Ah, yeah. It's just 
it's just never going to get there, you know. With, with too low of an overall quarterback, maybe IRL, Joe Burrow makes that throw. But the game ends and we lose 35-14. to 14. Playing at Pittsburgh is always going to be a tough task. for. It doesn't matter if you're the Bengals, if you're, if you're the Chiefs, whoever you are, it's always going to be tough. Essentially, when Big Ben, he, tur he turned the clock back on us. He went 29-36, 364, four touchdowns, zero interceptions. Joe Burrow... Uh, you know, not it, a lot of a lot of it was my fault, and a lot of the I just couldn't handle that uh, that home field advantage, that play art, and it was messing up my plays beforehand, and I just it was really difficult to play in, especially all mad and stuff like that. Uh, running the football, Joe Mixon, we only ran it 11 times on 3.9 yards per carry. Uh, Najee Harris, 4.2 yards per carry. Joe Burrow did really really well with his legs this game. Uh, receiving wise, Johnson, Claypool, Ebron all went crazy for us. Tyler Boyd really showed out six for 121 and a touchdown. Uh, Jamar Chase, Auden Tate, and there wasn't a single reception for T. Higgins. I told you guys, I really didn't notice him that game, and it was because he didn't have a single catch. Logan Wilson led the team in tackles, tackles for loss. TJ Watt was everywhere. Sacks, we had one with Jermaine Pratt. Um, interceptions, we didn't have a single interception, and Nonetheless, let me actually bet. Or I gotta. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know who our next opponent is. But all I know is it's gonna be a better output, and it's gonna be a better showing from the team overall uh, than this week. But I'm sorry, Bengals fans. It's gonna be our first loss of the series. I'm sure it's not gonna be our last. Of course, uh, stick with me through uh, through thick and thin. But nonetheless, if you did enjoy the episode, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And it's been your boy, Kingster Seven. I'm out. Peace.